Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we took care of our main blog role here with all of our posts. We also added the ability to have featured images. Now what I want to do is show you how to format the single page. Okay, if we visit a single page, it's still using that index.php file. So in order to change that, we're going to go to our theme folder and create a new file and call it single.php. Now, if we go back to our single page and reload, it goes completely blank because it's now using this over the index file. So let's copy what we have in our index file and paste it in single. And if we reload, we get the same exact thing. All right. Now, first thing that I want to do starting from the top is we don't want this link anymore because this is the final destination. This is the single post. So let's go to where we have that link, which is right here and just remove it. Okay, so now we'll just have the title. Okay, save it, reload, and there's no more link. If we go to the home page or the blog post page, those still have links, but the single page doesn't. All right, now the metadata, that's good. The image is good. This, however, isn't because it's not showing us all the content. So what we can do is change the excerpt to the content. Save that and reload. And now we have the entire content. Another thing we're going to want is comment functionality. So to add that, let's go right under the content and we'll put a line break. So let's put a HR. And what we can do here is say PHP comments underscore template. Okay, if we go back and reload, now we have a comment form. Okay, we'll say great post, post comment, and there we go. The functionality is perfect. Now it doesn't look that great, but we can actually change that. All right, so I want to go to the documentation real quick. Uh, let's say WordPress custom comments. I think is this it? Yeah, okay. So what we can do is we can have a custom comments page. So in our theme folder, or yeah, in our theme folder, we'll create a file and we'll call it comments.php. And I'm just going to write the word test and then save. And if we go back to our page here and reload, you can see that it's been replaced with test because it's now looking at this file. So let's go back to that documentation page and I'm going to grab. First of all, let's create a div. Give it a class of comments. All right, and then we'll put an H2 we'll say comments. And then I'm going to grab this. This is just an array of arguments. and paste that in and you can change some of these to um, to customize your comment section but I'm just gonna keep yeah I'm just gonna keep them except I'm gonna change the avatar size to look I'm gonna change the avatar size to 80 alright and then what we need to do is is use this WP list comments so let's paste that in and then we're just passing in. Um, we don't want that. We want to pass in the args that we have above. All right. And then we also want a second parameter of comments. OK, so that takes care of the comments. Now for the form, we need to do something different. So if we go over here and I think if we go down to the bottom, we have this comment form. OK, we'll click that. And then this is going to be the same idea. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to grab this. Copy that. And let's paste that in. OK, so again, we just have some arguments for the form and then we're calling the comment form. So there's two main functions we're calling WP list comments and comment form. And then you just have a bunch of arguments 
that you can use. We can change the label of the button, the text for the reply, things like that. All right, so let's save that and go back to our post and reload. Uh, what's this? Oh, I don't. I didn't end the PHP. Okay, so now this pretty much is the same thing. It's just formatted a little differently. Um, so now what I want to do is style this. So we're going to open up our style.css. And let's go down to the bottom. And we'll take our comments class. And let's say border one pixel gray solid padding 10 pixels margin bottom 20 margin top 10 okay now for the heading let's do that we get comments h3 and let's also do h2 Okay, give it a background of light gray. Color will be dark gray. And padding, five pixels. All right, so let's do the body. We'll give it a border. Let's give it margin bottom. Padding, we'll do 20 on the top and bottom, 10 on the sides. All right, and then we'll do the metadata. Background. Uh, let's see. Let's do light gray. Actually, you know what? Let's do this blue color. Which is this put that there and let's also do it here which I had a dollar sign there anyway that's wrong okay so comment meta we want the color to be white padding we'll say 10 and say overflow auto Okay, and then we need the avatar, which we can say comment meta image. And let's float that to the left and give it a margin right of 10 pixels. Okay, now for the reply link. I'll give it a background of that blue color. Um, let's say display. We'll display it as an inline block. And add padding of 10 and 15. Okay, last thing is going to be the form. Comment form input and also the text area. We're going to set the width to 100%. We'll set padding to 4 pixels. We'll set the border and we'll set margin bottom to 15. All right. So a lot of styling, let's go ahead and reload. And now down here, this is what our comment form looks like. Uh, this should actually be white though. So that is comment meta, where we have color white, but we need the link to be white. I 
There we go. Okay, so we'll say hello world send and there we go. Let's change the color of the heading to white though. Okay, so now we have our single post page with comments. Now let's take a look at one of these pages in the menu, sample page, and you can see that we have this metadata for our, our page. We also just have an excerpt. Reason for that is now the pages are also looking at index PHP, and we don't want that. So what we can do is create another file in our theme, and we're going to call it page.php. If we go back to the sample page and reload, it's going to be blank. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, let's see, we'll take index PHP and we'll grab everything and paste that in page PHP. And then that's going to give us the same thing we just had, but we want to change some things up. Okay, so one, we don't want the title. I'm sorry, we want the title. We don't want the link in the title. Okay, we don't want the meta at all, so we're going to get rid of that whole paragraph. Uh, we're going to get rid of the, the featured image. And then the excerpt will change to the content. All right, and we'll change this to no page found. All right, so if we go and look at that, now we just have a, a simple page with a title and some content. Okay, if we go to one of our about pages, same thing. So that's what we want there. So in the next video, we're going to start to work on this sidebar. We want to be able to have a sidebar widget or widgets. Um, so I'll show you how to do that next.